so it's spending a Saturday at the shop um, might do a vlog you know because you guys don't need to I actually do a lot of stuff uh, that I don't put in the videos so I don't know maybe I should start doing that which also requires me to edit more so I got to do a couple things today I really want to play with my engine but I ordered another engine stand um, so that's gonna be about a week out so I'll give you a look at that I guess if you're interested but I'll get this engine on that stand and uh, and then we'll work on it from there I don't like working on it when it's on the cherry picker here uh, what I may do today also along with my car's oil change I'll probably uh, work on the passenger side fender the only thing that needs to go on it is this but I'll post a separate video of me working on that um, my oil change I don't know, maybe I'll show that. Another thing I want to do is bring my old engine in, uh, the one from Project Alpha, and look at that as well. Um, I haven't looked at it, put it in storage, so I'd like to see what kind of condition um, it's in, you know. All right, so here's Project Alpha's engine. Uh, now, if you saw my video, yesterday that i posted i was talking about like i was wondering how the oil uh filter fits so it's supposed to be the same block right although if you look at the wrangler engine of course this is a 94 right if you look at the wrangler engine the, the oil filter is straight out of the engine whereas this is kind of a 45 degree angle so that's interesting um, but this is that pin I was talking about right here so I don't know if you could remove that and then uh, put you know the threads in there if you could use this but I don't know the angle of the oil filter might not work for the Wrangler I don't know if you guys have any uh, experience on that let me know um, I mean I'm not saying I'm done with uh, XJ's I really like them so um, something I'd like to do in the future is actually take a Comanche redo the Comanche and then buy a more updated XJ and move everything over to the Comanche that's in the XJ like all the wiring uh, the CPU everything um, just an ex like an experiment type of uh, deal with it you know uh, it should work essentially because it's almost the same uh, might be some minor adjustments that need to be made but anyways I'm rambling right now but this is a uh, project Alpha's engine that I had in it it's, this thing is in really good condition was overheating uh, when I took it out on the trails but uh, I found out what that was there's a lot of let me see if I could bring it around if you guys hadn't seen that video um, there was like a blockage of gunk on this part of the engine um, and you want coolant to flow through all this you know uh, to keep the engine cool one thing I couldn't do is I couldn't remove this um, I'll have to pound it out but um, it's in pretty good shape I uh, still got the bearings on it where the drive shaft goes looks like I might still have the bearings yeah um, for the camshaft too but 
I can't remember what all I did to this engine. And I think I just basically just took everything off of it. And so when I was pulling this out, I noticed I have a couple of 4.0 uh intake manifolds so and then now i have this one over here so i might start putting those things up for sale i don't need three of them um and it's essentially the same as the xj's or they can all work together um but i'm not sure about where the oil comes out i didn't realize that this is a 45 degree angle out of the engine and the, and the wrangler engine is like completely 90 degrees out the side of the engine so that might make a huge difference because um, not sure where the frame uh, is in that particular area for the 6.0 or 6.0 4.0 six cylinder um, coil pack i'm probably going to sell that i really like this valve cover I'm, did I mention it? Uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but I like the steel valve covers better than the cast. Because uh, if you get these bolts too tight, uh, it'll crack the cast ones. Um, uh, this might be an aftermarket. I'm not sure. Looks like it might be an aftermarket with that on there. But uh, I do like the steel ones better. So we'll probably paint that up, make it really nice, get it cleaned up. Um, one issue with the Wrangler or, and the XJs really is, is these valve covers leak, uh, especially in the back. So these bolts like to loosen up. These look pretty tight on here. Um, but then again, it's the steel, uh, valve cover, not the cast valve cover. Yeah. So the four cylinder one, this is the cast one I was talking about. Like these bolts off here, if you tighten them too much, you'll crack this. And then if it's not tight enough, it loosens up and leaks. So you're kind of, hey there kitty, you're kind of like screwed. You've got to buy another one. And that's what happened with the first one of these. Uh, on Because when I first got Project Alpha, I had to redo the head gasket on it because the head gasket was leaking. Uh, but in the process, process of putting everything get, together in the valve cover on I cracked the valve cover so I ended up having to go to the junkyard and get another valve cover so and it was still that one was cast too I believe if I remember correctly and uh, I was I put that on without ruining it so anyways I'll probably clean this engine up uh, and maybe put it up for sale um, it's a decent engine far as I know nothing was wrong with it like I said it I can't get this thing to come over I haven't I've had this in storage forever so it's kind of sticky yeah see there's not much wear and tear on the on the bores um, it just had that little bit of overheating problem which which was that blockage in the back and like it was even in the back here and here like it was gunked up and only overheated on the trail when I'm really using the engine but I don't see any cracks in this you know it looks in pretty good shape so yeah, I might just clean it up and oil it down and put it out for sale, see if somebody wants it. Um, as far as this, yeah, I'll sell the coil pack. I'm thinking around probably 40 bucks. Um, get rid of some of these, uh, probably clean up that and sell this sell two of my uh, one I have brand new I'll sell that one intake manifold exhaust manifold uh, 
actually this thing's pretty solid pretty rusty but it's just surface rust it's pretty solid I'm surprised they uh, left it on there honestly maybe you got something better I don't know but anyways yeah I'll remove the plugs uh, and I'll probably have the machine shop or the engine shop do the bearings for the camshaft because uh, there's a special tool you need for that and I ain't gonna buy it that tool <laughs> it's pretty expensive and I'm not gonna be using it very much anyways I'm rambling now but this is project alphas came out of a 94 XJ it was really good actually I miss it but anyways